Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how graphs for the different gas laws look like. First, we'll start with Boyle's Law. Boyle's Law states that pressure and volume are inversely related. So that means that as the pressure goes up, the volume will go down, and vice versa, as the pressure goes down, the volume will go up. So they go in opposite directions. We'll put pressure on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis, but you can switch them. You got a volume over here and pressure over here. And since it's inversely related, the graph will look like this. So you can see that as the volume's increasing, the pressure is decreasing. The reason why it's not a straight line, because uh, if it was a straight line, eventually you can see that the pressure would become negative and volume and pressure cannot be negative. Next, Charles Law. Charles Law states that volume and temperature are directly related. So that means that as the volume goes up, the temperature goes up and vice versa. So we'll put volume over here and we'll put temperature over here, but again, you can just switch them. And since they're directly related, it'll just be a straight line going up. You can see that as temperature goes up, the volume goes up. Next, Gay-Lussac's law states that pressure and temperature are directly related. So as temperature goes up, the pressure will go up as well. Um, so since this is a direct relationship, it'll just, again, be a straight line, like the line you see in Charles' law. So we'll just put pressure over here and temperature over here, but they're interchangeable. And then lastly, Avogadro's law states that volume and moles are directly related. So you probably guessed, since it's direct relationship, it'll just once again be a straight line. We'll have volume on the Y and uh, moles on the X. And though that's the, the how the graphs for the four different gas laws look like. So if they're directly related, then this is going to be a straight line with a positive slope. And if it's inverse relationship, it's going to look like this. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.